Nam June Paik, Something Pacific, 1986. Nam June Paik is Korean and moved to New York City in 1964. He is known widely as the grandfather of video art. He's an artist who uses TVs as his medium. He made all kinds of things with television sets. He seemed the really perfect artist to think about something for the media center uh, where people are studying television. He could comment on television in our world. So what he did was to create a TV graveyard in the landscape at the media center. This work is not in the tradition of public art. It is a comment on the kind of public art that's sort of the general on the horseback. He has taken a small museum reproduction of the Rodin thinker, staring into what was, in 1986, the smallest existing television set. You have a Japanese Buddha that he didn't make staring into a television. There are these other two Buddhas, bronze Buddhas, that he did make. One he calls an E.T. Buddha, and the other one he calls a Samurai Buddha, um, staring into these sort of falling apart television sets. The work was completed in conjunction with an event here at the university called the Pacific Rim Festival. And present here at the event was John Cage, the magnificent modern composer, and Alan Caprow, who was here on the faculty and was a great artist who essentially invented the notion of performance art. Since it was the Pacific Rim Festival, and we were sort of talking about the Pacific and the Pacific Rim, I idly said, well, how about something Pacific? Meaning, how about a title that has something to do with the Pacific? And Nam Jun said, yes, that's it, something Pacific. And it always served for me as an example of how this artist and many artists see and use what's at hand, identify things rather than inventing them, take what's around and see it differently. <laughs> ¶¶